Hey guys, it's Joey Vermin here. Uh, this is episode number eight of my horror review show, and I want you all to know that this um, I did upload a review for this film. However, I felt like I can give I could have game uh, given you a more in depth sight into the movie of you know how I felt about it. Uh, so you know I'm gonna redo it uh, this time this video. This video is a review for. A, a very cool guy that I know, uh, you know, I friend it on Facebook, he's awesome, he's he's really cool, I love his music. It's Jimmy Screamer Claus and his film, Where the Dead Go to Die. Yeah. Okay, you guys know the drill. Uh, sorry about my voice. I'm, my voice is a little messed up. Um, Alright, well, you know the drill. We're going to talk about uh, the beginning of the movie. But, you know, I found it more... Um, I think it would be more appropriate to tell, like, the beginning of all three tales. Because in this movie, there are, the story is divided into three sections. So, you know, I'll give you an insight on all of them. Uh, okay, so we're going to start with number one. And this, one, this story is called... Tainted Milk. Now, Tainted Milk, to give you uh, the beginning of that story, you know, a whole synopsis on that story, it tells the little, the story of a little boy by the name of, oh shit, what's his name again? <laughs> God damn it, what's it, Tommy, Tommy, sorry, it, it slipped out of my mind. Little Tommy uh, is told by one of the other main characters in this movie, a black dog with r glowing red eyes by the name of Labby. Uh, and Labby tells him that um, his little brother, who's inside his mom's, uh, you know, womb, you know, unborn baby, is evil. And, uh, you know, he has to do something and get rid of it. And, yeah, that's all I'll that's all I'll give for that one. So, yeah. Num story number two. Liquid Memories. Now, Liquid Memories is about a guy who has learned that when we die, us humans die, we really... In the back, I don't know, somewhere in the back of our heads is a membrane where there's a blue liquid. And if uh, if you get a needle in the back of there at the time of death, you can extract memories from the brain. And, you know, you can inject in yourself. And this guy goes on this real crazy trip, uh, you know, living someone else's memories, you know, giving memories as well. And, you know, that's all I'll give for it on that one. Okay, now, uh, next number? Oh, yeah. Number three has to go to where the where the mask that monsters wear. Sorry about that. I'm tripping out today. All right. Now, the mask that monsters wear is about a li another little boy by the name of Ralphie who is born disfigured because he has a, he has a face on the side of his head and that face belongs to his would-be little brother. However, he died during childbirth, but, you know, he kind of stayed attached to Ralphie. And, you know, yeah. Um... And, you know, eventually Ralphie, you know, he lives with a family that clearly doesn't love him. However, you know, when he goes to school, he does meet this girl there. You know, he immediately falls in love and, you know, things happen. Yeah. All right. That's all I'll give about the synopsis of all three stories. <clears throat> now, to talk about this movie in general. This movie is directed by Jimmy Screamer Claus. Uh, he does, <clears throat> sorry, he does terracore music. Uh, I actually have one of his songs. I, I would love to have more. I just listen to most of the songs on the internet. Um, Jimmy Screamer, it's directed by Jimmy Screamer Claus, and he, you know he makes horrorcore music. He also does he does more movies, animated movies with this type of animated. Uh, well, I'm I'm just fucking up right now. This type of animation, I should say. Now, I did you know I have contact with Jimmy Screamer Claus uh, over the um, Facebook. You know, I'm definitely going to send him this video. I don't even know why I'm saying that, because, Jimmy, you should already be watching. All right. Um, my thoughts on this movie. Many people will complain. if This is one of those movies, kind of like Only God Forgives. Um, 
I used to I used to have a review on that, but I'll have to do another one. Uh, it's kind of I compare it to Only God Forgives when it comes to the reviews. Many people say that you know it's really dumb, it's really stupid because you know they can't handle the animation, they can't handle the voice acting. And again, there's the good reviews where wow, this story really got to me, and you know this is awesome. I like this animation. Uh, I have to go with the good side because I <clears throat> I do think the animation is really good. I think it's I think it's fucking awesome. Sure, I you know if there's one thing I really find weird about this movie besides the uh, the mind bending story. Um, the fact that, uh, you know, most of the little kid characters are voiced by people who try to make themselves sound like little kids, but you know, it, you know, that even then that doesn't matter. The movie is still fucking awesome. It's a fucking joy ride for your fucking brain. Um, uh, I definitely recommend it. It totally a watch. I mean, and it's a really fucked up story too. It's got, it's got sorts of different types of taboo in it. It's got, you know. It's got oh I, I yeah, animal banging I don't know what the fuck it bestiality that there it is animal banging <laughs> um it's got it's got necrophilia and it's got um child pornography not literal you know child pornography but it, it's got that that scent you know that that little um that little I don't know how to say it but you know it it's got that scent of uh, taboo in there for child pornography and it, it's got that I mean that's what makes a horror movie really fucking awesome is to I mean that's why I got greatly infect, uh, infected affected by um, uh, a Serbian film this is definitely a movie I recommend checking out uh, warning though even if you guys can um, if you guys are like you think Saw is like the most like disturbing movie you ever saw you're gonna get mind fucked harder than uh, a serbian film with this film sure it's animation but still it's got these really crazy taboos and it's got these really crazy visuals that's probably just gonna make you drop your jaw drop anyway that is my review for jimmy screamer Claus's film where the dead go to die sorry about my voice if it sounds a little fucked up uh, I don't know if you can hear it or not. I don't know if the sound quality on this camera is really freaking fucking high tech. But, you know, that doesn't matter. Um, anyway, this movie, two thumbs up from me. I recommend watching it. And, you know, anytime you get the chance, give it a shot. I totally recommend it. Anyway, this has been another review from yours truly. This is Joey Vermin saying goodbye and I love you. See you guys.